And here we are introducing our new probe mount for NeuroPixels 2.0 probes alpha phase, as well as our accompanying alignment fixture to aid in installation and alignment. Our new probe mount is able to hold two probes simultaneously, as well as holding the head stage. And our alignment fixture will hold it to aid in installation, as well as checking for the alignment of the probes with respect to the insertion axis. So I'll talk a little bit about the probe mount itself here. So for our probe mount, we have clamps, sheet metal clamps to help hold the probes in place. We have retaining pins that can be inserted and removed to aid in keeping the sheet metal clamps with a force on the tip of approximately two newtons. This will allow the probe to stay in place during insertion. We have a gap here in the back to allow the flex cable to pass through from the other side so they can both be connected to the head stage simultaneously. And we currently support approximately one millimeter between probe PCBs. Although we're working on finding a way to get them closer together. This probe mount is compatible with our MPM system. It can be mounted onto our M3 LS 3.4 stages like this. Some of you may be users of our 1A slim probe mount that's normally mounted up here, but we remove the probe mount bracket and we install the probe directly onto the stage towards the back of the carriage here. Going back to our probe mount, in order to install the probes, you'll need to remove this pin. In fact, I can show you on our manual. Pull that up. This manual is available on our website. You can contact us directly. We can email it to you if needed as well. It describes how to install the probes and install the probe mount onto our stages. So you would rotate the sheet metal clamp upwards, slide the flex cable in between the clamp and the probe body. We have locating features on the front of the probe mount to help keep the probe where it needs to be and straight. Rotate the sheet metal clamp back down, compress it to apply some force, and slide the retaining pin back in. Once it's installed, attach the flex cable to the head stage, and then tighten the screws to clamp the head stage in place, and you're ready to start recording. For two probes, you would follow the same procedure, but for the first probe, you would guide the flex cable through the gap in the back before rotating the probe mount around in our alignment fixture to a, uh, install on the other side. Once your probes are installed, this rod is removable from the base. This rod is what we'll use to install into the alignment fixture. You can install the base onto the stage ahead of time put the probe mount into the alignment fixture, install your probes, and then you can slide the probe mount into the base and tighten two set screws up here to keep it where you want it to be. Fully rotatable, sorry about that. Fully rotatable 360 degrees for more options of fitting as many probes as possible in a tight space. We also include a pointed calibration rod so that you can pre-aim your fixtures without risking damage to the probes themselves. Get everything set up so that you're pointing right where you want to be. At the end of our document is our specification drawings. And again, these are available on our website. And for the alignment fixture,
we created this alignment fixture to aid in installing the probes as well as checking the alignment of the probe shanks with respect to the insertion axis. This is the rod that would be removable from the probe mount base. Big thumb screw to allow you to easily rotate again, rotate 360 degrees so that you can check from multiple directions and install probe mount probes on either side of the mount. It's pretty straightforward. Just gotta install the rod into the V-groove, tighten the thumb screw when you have it in the orientation you like. Make sure you leave about five millimeters of space between the V-block and the back of the head stage clamp. Here's an example picture of a probe mount we used during testing. You can see the probe was not quite aligned with the axis of insertion. So this is a good example of where you might want to install some shims to correct the alignment. In this case, we would install some shims in between the probe PCB and the main body. Uh, shimming material could be something like capped on tape at about 0.24 micron thickness. And you can add multiple layers of tape in between the probe PCB and the probe body to correct the alignment. Then you can rotate the probe 90 degrees and check for the other direction. This one was pretty well aligned. And again, specification drawings at the back of the manual which is available on our website. The alignment fixture is also compatible for those of you that have 1A slim probe mounts. We understand there are some trouble with getting those shanks aligned as well. So if you have a 1A slim probe mount, you could also use this fixture for that purpose. Again, you can rotate 360 degrees for checking multiple directions. Once you have everything installed, two screws to install the base onto the stage. And there are two set screws at the top. So you can slide the rod in, tighten the set screws, adjust your length accordingly for your needs. As mentioned, this will only work with probes that do not have a dovetail cap installed. If and when the production phase of the probes are released with dovetail caps. We'll consider our options for designing a probe mount that will mate with the dovetail cap as well. Thanks for your question. As far as the second screenshot, the alignment was really good. That was, that was not a manual alignment. That just happened to align well as it was inserted. Uh, there is room for adjustment within the probe mount locating features in the front. We do leave a little bit of space here to allow for adjusting in case of misalignments. And in the case of a misalignment, we would recommend that you put a little bit of adhesive between the probe PCB and the probe holder's body to keep it in place when you have it aligned. Uh, something like a UV glue that can be easily removed should you need to replace the probe. We'll have specific recommendations on that in the coming weeks. But we do keep these features here as close as possible to the features of the PCB to help keep it straight. Let me hide this part. Let's see what I'm talking about here. Because we give it a little extra material here, if you want a wider separation between the probes, you can just insert some shimming material between the probe PCB and the probe body to increase the separation between probes. Distance between probes.
approximately 2.4 millimeters. And the furthest we can get, if you have the edge of your probe, PCB towards here, oh, let me get rid of these. You can gain an extra 0.8 millimeters between probe shanks. We have some people that may want to separate the probes further. If so, we are available to do custom design work to increase that distance. As for installing the probes, thanks again for your questions. I do recommend first at least trying to place the probe PCB right up against these angles and checking the alignment with our alignment fixture. And if needed, if the probe shanks are not aligned well to the probe PCB's features, then back it off just a little bit and adjust accordingly. But for the initial installation, I would recommend putting it right up against these angles. We had a good question about the use at our beta test sites. Ed, do you want to touch on uh, how our beta test sites liked our probe mount? Yes, uh, thanks, Aaron. <clears throat> so we uh, tested this at uh, Genelia um, in, uh, first of all, in Tim Harris's group, um, and then in uh, Josh Dudman's group. We uh, also sent them to the Allen Institute where uh, Josh Siegel tested them out. And finally, we have one right now running um, experiments in the uh, Dyseroth lab at um, Stanford. So those were the places that uh, checked it out for us ahead of time. So we're quite confident we have something which uh, works well and is very stable. What they liked about it, of course, was the fact that it can hold two probes simultaneously, where a lot of the probe mounts that are mating with the dovetail caps can only hold one probe at a time. This allows for denser recordings, more probes in a tighter space. Does anybody have any questions? For comparison purposes, for those of you that use our 1A slim probe mount, You can see the size is pretty similar. The probe tip ends up in the same spot, although we mount it further back on the stage. But we allow you to adjust the length accordingly simply by loosening these set screws and moving the rod to your desired location. Again, feel free to contact Ed for any questions on sales or for purchasing. And feel free to contact me directly if you like, if you have any technical questions or need any further information in that regard. As mentioned, this works best, of course, with our MPM system, as well as our VCS software to accompany the system, but it can be adapted to other systems as well if needed. We have videos on our website as well as documentation. I encourage you to go check them out. There's a lot of informative information there about the system as well as this probe mount specifically. The NeuroPixel 1O probes, we specifically recommend our 1A slim probe mount. I showed a quick glimpse of it attached to our alignment fixture here. This is the mount we would recommend for 1O probes, NeuroPixel 1O probes, again, with no dovetail cap. Yeah, this probe mount here. Our 1A slim would hold a single probe. Our 1A slim probe mount works with or without the dovetail cap because it grips by the probe PCB where the dovetail cap is normally installed on the probe. This is what we would recommend for NeuroPixels 1O probes. It also holds the head stage and meets directly with our MPM system and can be adapted to other systems as well. Once again, thank you all for joining us. If you'd like to refresh yourself on any of this information, a recording of the presentation will be available. And please visit our website for the documentation and some helpful videos on the topic.
thank you all for attending. we appreciate it.